Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm be painting a Primaris Librarian doing a uh, Death Watch scheme for him. And we're starting out here with a uniform gray dry brush just over the whole model. This will be our base layer for adding detail as well as highlighting. Continuing the gray scale, we're going to be using ash gray. And we're using this for multiple things, edge highlighting, uh, adding lighting information from uh, glow effects I'm going to add layer, later, uh, as well as adding texture to like his trench coat, nicks and dings and his armor. And we're just doing this on all, all the pieces. And while we were at it, with the ash gray, we just went ahead and based all the purity seals, anything, anything cloth, we just uh, went ahead and based with the ash gray. So next we're using the gunmetal uh, Vallejo uh, game color, and we're basing his whole left arm for the death watch scheme. And we went ahead and based the uh, the metallic pieces on his uh, backpack and his earpiece. This part you can skip if you're painting anything uh, Death Watch with black armor. I just used the deep blue really thinly over top of uh, that grayscale on the armor. We don't want it opaque to lose that detail. We want the, the grayscale to show through. Then we're using Crusted Sword just to base the, uh, the cloak, and we're using this really thinly as well, just to be able to sh see all those uh, details we did with the gray. So that's what we're looking like after the cloak's based, his armor's based, we got the arm, or his uh, metallic arm based. Next we're we'll using a red wash, and I'm just adding it like an exterior lighting uh, OSL effect. I like the differentiation of like the, the way the red works with the blue and the silver. It's just a slight color change that I, have, I think has a cool effect. And then we're going to be doing a blue wash over his uh, metallic arm. And with the Vallejo washes, when they dry, it's a little bit different. It almost has like a, a tarnish or weathering look to it when it dries up. And I think that looks pretty cool. And then now we're just using the, the black ink over the armor. And if you skip the, the deep blue for a regular Death Watch color scheme, you can just use this black ink over that grayscale. And I'll actually have some pictures at the end showing you what the same scheme looks like minus the uh, deep blue. But well, we're just washing all his armor bits, as well as uh, thickening it up a little bit, less water, and basing the uh, the pipes with that black ink.
as well as the joints in between his armor. Then we're going back with the gunmetal and we're just dry brushing his left arm there. Just to bring some highlights back to add a sheen to the metallic arm. Next we're using polished gold. This is uh, pretty thin out the bottle so I had to do uh, two layers of it. But we're just basing, basing all his uh, ornate pieces, the skull and horns. As well as the, the lock and the trim on his belt. And the, uh, the piece on his helmet. And trimming out the pads. And the hilt on his sword. And that's what we're looking like after the polished gold is based. And then we're going to use the red wash over that. And again, the way the Vallejo washes dry is almost it gives it a tarnished look. And this red wash over the polished gold almost gives it like a, a fuzzy, like red weathered look. That's what we're looking like after it dries. So next we're going to be using a umber wash. This is a game wash Vallejo. And we're washing the purity sills. Anything we base with that ash gray. This will mute these uh, details down a little bit, help them blend in. So next I'm using dead white, and I use this as a base for all his glows. And for the sword, we're just going to be trimming it out with the dead white, but for the eyes, we're making it opaque white. Next we're using orange fire, this is a game color, and using it through an airbrush allows me to build up the opacity to create that glowing effect. And we use this same color on its eyes as well. Not getting opaque with it, but just to create that glowy haze. And we went ahead and added a, a little OSL effect on the, the side of his uh, his cloak there. So that's what we're looking like after the orange fire. Next we're using uh, the Vallejo red ink. And I thinned this down a good bit. So we can still see that orange fire coming through. And we just soak up any puddling. So for the next two layers we used the orange fire again through the airbrush and then we highlighted that through the airbrush with the sun yellow. Just have that gradual uh, lighting all the way to the tip of the sword. And that's pretty much it guys.
Then here's some pictures of uh, some eradicators minus the uh, the deep blue that I did for the librarian. I just did the black wash over the uh, grayscale, and that's what these are looking like. Thanks for watching guys, if interested in supporting my channel further, I have a Patreon with a couple simple and unique tiers that can help me make more content for the channel, and I will have links in the description as well as on my channel's banner. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.